Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how we can add items to the list on demand. What does it mean? It means you have, you need not to look for a list in one shot. Just load based on the demands. When users scroll to the bottom, then only you add new items to the list. Let's see the demo first. So as you can see in my list, I have 10 items. And once I scroll to the bottom, it's saying adding new items to the list. So it will add 10 more new items. So you can see it has added, let me scroll. Yeah, you can see 19 and if I scroll more, it will show the 20, right? So if I add, I mean, if I scroll to the bottom again, it will show again. So you can see the 10 more new added, right? So I keep on scrolling like this. Let's see. And once I able to load all the items, then it will stop, right? As I have. 80 items let's see how much is how many is loaded so far so so far i have loaded 70 this is the last one you can see now that the alert is not coming right because the list is fully loaded but i added all the items on demand because the person who is using the ui he is scrolled to the bottom that means he was interested to see the new items right so this way we achieve the like we are not loading the list in one shot and performance also will be improved right now let's see how we are doing this from the code. So as you can see, this is the HTML page. We are very uh, here. I am having very simple list. You can see it's a simple layer, which is having a on scroll event, and this is just a ng for loop, right? So this client list is nothing but initially whatever items I have, it, it's going to load them. So if I go to ts file, you can see this is the client list. Initially, I am having only ten items. And assume I, I just removed the server part, so I am assuming this is the list which will be coming from the server, right? So I have this much, uh, these many items into the list. You can see. So I have close to 80 items, and this is the scroll event. I'll explain you that. So what will happen? So we'll just put the UI. So whatever items you are able to see right now, that's called the view height. So you can see that visible, visible height. Okay, and when you scroll, so whatever whatever height you have scrolled whatever you know you are able to scroll this much right this is that height so that is nothing but pixel scrolled and total height means the from 1 to the 18th number whatever height is required that is that one so if you do this is the visible height this is nothing but you scroll from top to the bottom and how much you have I mean scrolled right and this is the total height is required to uh, you know, show all the items into that list and what we are saying after that once you reach to that bottom add 10 more new items and this I uh, just for the simplicity I added this method uh, ideally this method will be you know fetching the record from the server by the way all right so what we are doing we are checking the total count right now so it will say 10 counts and then once we will check after that we are checking whether the client is having all the items which uh, and if the length is equal to the server list item then don't do anything if the list if the client side list is having less item than the server side then add 10 more items right as simple as that oh i hope you are able to understand that what i'm trying to say all right so if i refresh again you can see it's showing 10 if i scroll to the bottom it's showing 10 more items let's let me show you the same thing from the debug so as you can see i have a debugger at line number 28 so right so far i have only close i think 30 items if i scroll to the bottom, you can see the debugger is coming now you're saying the current size is uh, current uh, current item count is 30 and in server we have in server list we have close to 80 and then we are you know fetching 10 more items 10 more new items so from after 30 is 31 to 40 and we are adding back to the client list and you can see now it's showing all the records accordingly right hope you are able to understand what how you can load the list on demand thank you